Well, we're here. This should be the last side mission. Captain Marvel's at 29 on 30 friendship. Wolverine's at 28 on 30 friendship. We're not wasting any time. The same decks as the last few missions. Let's go get it. And you know what? We're gonna we're gonna three star this. We're gonna three star this. Personal guarantee. And then, then we're going to do their challenges. Look, this is easy, okay? What could go wrong? Maybe you can give them a lesson. I'm really liking the Hydra environments. These are Nothing super new. nice. Oh, this is absolutely beautiful. All right. Uh, how are we going to solve this problem that we're already in? Four minions here. So chain swipes could be used to clear three, even though he's weak for this first turn because of his, his little boo-boo. Um, I would much prefer that these guys were, like, attacking something else, you know? But I just don't see that necessarily happening. Hmm. Okay. I guess we could even cure this weak, but it, it's, uh, it's, it's not, it's not necessary. It's not necessary. Should we draw some Captain Marvel cards? I could... Yeah, I actually think we might even do this chain here. He taunts, and then we can redraw this for conceal. We do have this ley line, which would have taken out two of them. And I could maybe I should have chained there, but either way. Uh, might as well do this, because it's free. Okay, then we've got the taunts on, so let's conceal now and see what other cards we get. Okay, we can save that for next turn. So we're pretty safe here now. I'm on it. Let's do this, try and get her binary going. It's actually not bad. This is not bad. I wonder who's closer here. Let's take the risk. Oh, you know what? Actually, that may backfire on me. If it's, uh, yeah. But I don't think that's gonna taunt away and attack themselves. So that was a bit of a, a misplay because now the hunter has to last sight to hide. Either way, it's not the end of the world. 301 bleeding damage is pretty sick, though. Okay. If we were going to do that, we should have targeted this one so that he targets his friend and that removes this and we could have saved the last sight there. I'm gonna redraw this hero combo. All right. I do have a move still. Is there anything else I might wanna do? Not that. If I do this, then it splits and she's gonna take some damage there. You know what? Let's do this. That's going to blow up that barrel as well. And then, can I knock them into each other? Do we have the angle? I don't. I'll take this. All right. Super sexy start. <laughs> super, super sexy start. Oh, I was worried about it. Yeah, yeah. It's been a couple of missions, hasn't it? 
Yes, it has. Okay. You probably could have pulled this off without me. Yeah, you're probably probably right. Let's get rid of this. Okay. Piercing Slash doesn't add its top level value here if somebody's not blocking. But it does apply vulnerable. Let me get rid of Rain of Blows right now. Oh, that hurts, man. I kind of feel like taunting. But, you know what? Maybe we do this. Uh, she's going to take a little bit of damage here. But that's going to remove one of the actions from the Dread Maiden. I know what my future holds. That's a KO there. This one's targeting the hunter. I wonder if I just taunt all of these guys to her. Or... Let's do this. Now it's... I might be able to clear these two here. To restore our strength. It's going to be close. It just oh no, it's not going to be enough. That ain't going to do it. So they're both going to come up. They're going to be weak, but that does mean a potential mind bender. Do we want to draw here? Let's draw. Watch this. This fight's in the bag. Ooh. Ooh -ee. Okay. Okay. Now we have some choices to make. We have a counter here. Or sorry, strengthen. My bad. My bad. My bad. I'm thinking there's two ways we could look at this. I don't know who this guy's going to attack. I think it's going to be over here. Which is kind of nice because that sets up for a really good annihilation next turn. And the hunter gains a counter. So he might even KO here on the attack. We counter this as well. Or we do this. But that feels less valuable. The Mindbender is actually really good for her too because she puts out a ton of damage. But let's start here. This guy is too close to the Hound, so we can't use that to take care of the Vulnerable Splitter, or Vulnerable Revenant. That's so close to KOing. How much heroism am I at? Five? May as well not let the attack go off, because then they're going to heal. This one's alive there. I think we'll also do this.
Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, so she's gonna summon in her goons. That's cool. Don't worry, I can take it. Those little minions that she brings in are really nice for Wolverine to get uh, refunds on his chains. This could be a pretty decent little annihilation. Sure about that. Thing is, I don't need this much heroism. And actually, I think this right here is probably better. So, we are getting targeted here now. By an AoE. Let's redraw the dark heal. Ooh. That's a lot of damage. Yep. Applying mark to this guy doesn't do anything. I do feel like I kind of need to go in there. But then again, I'm I'm building up all this heroism. Okay. Photon beam could be all right. Maybe I don't burn my move. No sense doing that. It's only 140. So I think we could do this. It's just a, a heroism burner, but we get the card play back. Then I wild strike, then I annihilate. Could I also hit the Dread Maiden here? Yes, okay. This is gonna taunt though. That's fine. I do want to save a, um... I do want to save a move for the cleanse. That should change that AoE now, I think. To focus on her specifically. There is a potential 20% counter here. Which I do not love. But I have to use this damage here. Or do I? Maybe I should use it on this. But the marked is wasted. It's, it's wasted on her too, let's be honest. It's just the damage I care about here. You had your chance to escape. Let's do this. We're going to try and clear the field a bit. Your loyalty to the mother of demons will be your undoing. And then, oh, this Annihilation's a little bit lower than I need it to be. Okay. She doesn't have Binary. So we won't gain Resist. I think we sacrifice her. I think we sacrifice her here. Thing is, if I taunt this way, I can KO this whole group, right? But the alternative is that I KO here and I get more card plays. Maybe it's better for me to do this. We get this card play back, we go binary. Then we do that taunt. And she'll resist a couple of attacks. Stronger. 
Now the question is, do I try and get another card play refunded? Because what does that really do for me? Not a lot. Right? Like, I can hit these. I get the card play back. This is pretty decent. But then I got so many splitters. Like, I kind of just want to go here. And then she could taunt this pool. <laughs> Still not great, though. Hmm. This shall be of great help. Okay. We've got three hounds. I could taunt here. Uh, how do I do this? Actually, here's what I'm going to do. We're going to let her tank stuff. And if she falls, she falls. This is going to give us card draw. That boosts my Annihilation damage by quite a bit, so hold on, maybe I don't even want that. Well, yeah, okay, because then I could take out that Hound as well. And then she still has to bring it on. Your mother abandoned. So we have double Vulnerable now. My call. Okay, interesting, interesting. Because now this is another card play refunded, and I'd go back down to three, which is still enough to get rid of this group. And this will taunt the hounds onto Wolverine, and he'll gain a counter. And then she's taunting the Dread Maiden, and this one. So let's just look at this for a sec. If we start this chain... Maybe I don't even need to. Hold on. One. Two. Three. Weakening these guys just doesn't do anything for me. It only taunts them away from her. I'm using the Annihilation to clear this group. I'm using the Eviscerate here to clear this guy, so we get the extra card play. Then Annihilation clears this. And then, like, I guess I would go bring it on here. But these guys are going to heal, which really sucks. I don't think I have the range. Yeah. That's not going to work there. Hmm. Eighteen, nineteen. If this was max, it's still not enough to get rid of that dread maiden. Applying the weak on the dread maiden is kind of interesting. But then, then what am I doing? So if I, if I, I still have to burn Eviscerate first. 
because I don't need this full amount of heroism here. Then at least the Dread Maiden's weak. But I would go something like this, where I would go boom, boom, and maybe double here. And then my Annihilation clears this, and these guys are gone. And we have a weak Dread Maiden. And then I have a Last Sight that KOs one of these splitters. Okay, I kind of like this. This gives us the card playback. Dread Maiden is weak. I hope she doesn't counter that at 20%. I'd feel really bad. You're kidding me. And he's vulnerable. This is going to hurt so bad. Okay, that could have been worse. <laughs> Seems excited. That's good. Okay, this one has the taunt, not the lifesteal. She's at 837. I don't know that she survives all of this. So I don't know that we even need to cleanse the, the corruption. Uh... I wonder, maybe the Obsidian Caller here is better. I go Obsidian Caller into the extra Last Sight damage, so I KO this. And then she's only getting targeted by three ones weak. But then I'm taking two Wounded, which I think is better, and then I will Cleanse here. And I'm going to come over and do this so that I can then run back to try and avoid AoE stuff. Because these guys are targeting the hunter, we can just negate that. They're not going to split or anything. You have earned this. Once again, the lift servants fall. All right. Is there anything else? You know what? This is probably worth it. She doesn't have the angle to kick both of these. And we used our move. Okay. So we're going to do this too. Dips on the ugly one. Now she should survive. Embrace your All right. Yeah, this is good this is good we went from oh we're gonna sacrifice her to I have to admire your persistence well I wonder if she still goes down here I with corruption so much worse let's see they still haven't changed their minds okay I don't I don't know if we saw the corruption. It's only 103, so it's not that bad. I don't mind regrouping here, but we need some other stuff. Okay, taunting quick at 130. 
I mean, we have this to clear out the minions. So that's not as valuable. I also have a shove here. Uh, Hunter is not getting targeted right now. Is vulnerable though, so a little risky. If we don't cleanse that. But I'd say this is riskier considering all the cards we have in hand. Okay, so she's vulnerable. Let's redraw, bring it on. I might still go regroup. Quick jab. Okay, hold on. If I go quick jab on one of the hounds... Just for the... We're just getting the heroism and the card plays up. Because then binary triggers on regroup. And then we have a hero combo with a vulnerable Dread Maiden. Let's do it. Arm D, B team, third string. Ready up. Okay. Now with that, 712 on a vulnerable at 881, that'll do it. They're both going to get counter. She'll survive. Uh, Wolverine as well is full, so they're going to counter attack these guys. Yeah, and then uh, Hunter's not getting attacked here. And I can still blow this up at the end to get rid of this. Very nice. And the Hunter's not really carrying here either. We're actually getting work done with these two, which is super cool. Uh, blow this up. It's about time. And now it's go time. We did burn two combat items, but that's okay. Get to Dread Maiden. This is moderately annoying. We should have some chain swipes coming up that could probably finish this. She's super corrupted. We are being reinforced. God, these this is a whole bunch of just little health guys here now. Looking at me. Are we not seeing her take this corruption? Like how? Like, what's going on here? That's definitely bugged, because she should be taking that corruption. It should come straight out of her health. So I don't know why that's not triggering, but, uh, you know what? That's fine, I guess. Okay. Is anybody at 130? Yeah, we could take out one of the splitters. Kiss a good boy. Uh, Photon Beam clears out a bunch of these guys. This lifesteal is kind of nice here. I guess I don't need the rapid healing. Ooh. 
How close are we on uh, Obsidian? Two. 370 clears that and gives me the two heroism. Yeah, okay. I think we finish here. No mercy, servants of Lilith. Return to your mother. Watch out, Wolverine. Uh, interesting because if I blow this up, this guy's not in there. Can I finish here? Yes. Yes, I can. Okay, so now we last sight here. And we blow up this thing for the other two minions. You are unprepared. More cards, more XP. Because we definitely need that. Welcome assistance. Okay, man. Captain Marvel actually looked pretty good there. It does help when we draw mostly Captain Marvel cards. That was uh, probably her best showing. I feel that was a three. <laughs> we, I did personally guarantee it, so thank God. Let's give her, um, let's give her a cover. Yeah. Higher, further, faster. We have finally done it. Everybody has hit level five friendship. So one sleep. Good girl, Charlie. And it's on. So we'll do both of their challenges here as well. Oh, we're going to swim. When was the last time you took a break? I have been in slumber for a few good centuries. Fair point. Not sure I would count that as a vacation. It was a haunted sleep full of ghastly visions. Sounds restful. And now our nine to five is stopping your mom from 86ing the world. Well. That is why I'm already planning a pretty great R&R when all of this is over. Someplace warm with an endless supply of those tiny drink umbrellas. But I'm open to suggestions. For me? Who else? I'm not leaving you behind. Why not relax in a known environment? We do not really get to enjoy the Abbey while we are on our mission. A staycation, you say? Trash food and PJs while watching an endless mashup of rom-com reality TV without the end of the world stressors? Just what the doctor ordered. Who would have thought I would be excited to go on a vacation with my enemy's kid? Uh, no offense. None was taken. <laughs> so, your game? How can I say no? Perfect, because I wasn't taking no for an answer. I would never say no uh, to Carol. I just love it when a plan comes together. Especially one that involves you, Hunter. There we go. That was a challenge. Let's talk to uh, Robbie out here. And then we should get a ping for Wolverine. Your love oh, and I got a compliment dull, now, right? too. Great. Rude. Uh, no, no, I, I mean it as a good thing. I I'm over the secondhand relationship drama going around. Peter asked me about every text he sends to his girl. 
Is it too long? Too short? Too soon? Too late? Too needy? Too cool? Why didn't she reply? I sent it five seconds ago. Blade doesn't even use full sentences. He pops out of nowhere, sits down and goes, Some women. <laughs> What does that mean? <laughs> Some women are what? Yeah, that sounds Vampires? like Vampires? Space captains? Honesty is the best approach. Both between them and their significant others, and for you when they ask for your advice. You're right. There isn't right or wrong. Just better to give my honest opinion. Yes. That we might all die and none of this will matter. We said honest, not hopeless. But yeah, that'll work too. Okay. Let's go hit the forge. And then Wolverine should hit us up. And then it's challenge time. Dun 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 dun. How may the sorcerer supreme I was under Got more coil for me? Sometimes I even impress myself. Eviscerate that applies weak. Uh I can't remember what the other one is, but that's decent. Hmm. Let's redraw this. Damage and taunt each enemy in a line. 25% chance for vulnerable. Let's take these two. I'm happy to help, Hunter. The only thing I need to consider here is do we have all the cards that we want? Like I'm still missing Oh no, I'm not. We have all of them. We have all the available cards, right? Crushes one, smashes one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, maybe I'm missing one Hulk card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we're missing one Hulk card. So I may have to do I may end up doing one more mission with him. Let's look at the Wolverine. Eviscerate. So this, oh yeah, right. This eviscerates with higher damage, which I do really like. Applying weak to a whole group though is super sick, especially if he's taunting. What's the upgrade here? Same as that, that's the counter, yeah. Yeah, that's a tough call. I think we'll, I'll just hold it for now. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's hitting those low notes. <laughs> you are pretty good at carrying a tune, Logan. Do you take requests? That was the uh, My Canadian answer by the way. Limited. Unless you like O Canada or <laughs> Sea Shanties. But I'm happy to whistle whatever you like. <laughs> I'm feeling feisty. And I give full credit to you. Me? I don't know how this battle against Lilith is going to shake out. Especially for the old timers like me. But spending time with you has given me complete and utter faith that the future is in good hands. I would say your faith is well placed. I knew you had good hunting instincts, but I think you read people equally well. You can't get good at killing people unless you get good at figuring out which ones to kill. And I got no doubts you've got things handled. And what about you? What are you going to do now? Take a vacation? Me? Believe it or not, I've been thinking about giving Charles Xavier a call. Maybe when this is all over, I can hook back up with the X-Men. Who knows? Maybe he'll even answer my call. Anyone who would not take your call is a fool. 
Chuck's a lot of things, but he ain't no fool. Anything that's between us is probably my fault. But thanks for your warm words of encouragement. Now, if you don't mind, I've been curious about taking a dip in this water. It looks inviting. Feel free to join me. I may be a loner, but it doesn't mean I like being alone. <laughs> Pal. I'm just saying. Just saying. I could be taken a few ways. I'm just taking it as pals. We're cool. And if it, even if it's not pals, I'm good either way. Okay, so Hero's Heart for Supernova. I do feel like Wolverine's Midnight Suns card is massive. His damage output is actually ridiculous if you have a bunch of heroism. Um, so that could totally change how we feel about him. Hero's Heart. Infinite card plays. Redraw and move disabled. Challenge failed. There's no more cards. The player turn ends. Uh, okay. Consume all block to gain zero offense. Oh, one for each block. So I need to get... Okay. Plus seven damage on Cosmic Ray. So let's start here. I feel like quick jab, maybe we just save that for last. But maybe it doesn't matter because we have infinite card plays. Consume all block to gain zero off to gain offense. But then, like, where does Reign of Blows fit into that? Let's try this. This is gonna make us... Okay, right. So, maybe we do this now. Because this gives us binary. And then this probably... This is overkill. Oh, look at that. Let's hit this thing. I'm assuming we're, we're looking to finish this with Rain of Blows or something. Gain 34 offense. Or... Huh. Hold on. Oh yeah, one for each block. So we do want that up there. If I consume all heroism to deal damage, this doesn't do anything and it gets rid of our block. But it is... Yeah, that won't work because we need the block for the offense, which makes all the cards we're going to redraw better. So, I could just play this, because now block is gone, and I might as well draw three cards, right? I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. So this helps us gain block, which is totally useless here. So maybe the idea is that I need to play that other card earlier then? Because this generates heroism, which means our... ...previous heroic does more. But now these are dealing quite a bit. Just not quite enough, I don't think. Yeah, we're close. I, th I think the Reign of Blows needs to be saved there. And maybe I redraw, or I draw those cards earlier, but then I I'm still down a card too, right? I 
I don't think there's a faster way to get there. So the, all of these cards have to get played. Uh, maybe that's not true. What if I played fifth tier first? He's going to go down to like 10. But then I have binary anyways. And fists can knock him into that. I just like the puzzle aspect of me is telling me that. This isn't exactly what I want. Because we have so much extra damage on this. Okay. Now I'm wondering if if I go one step ahead and this draws that block card, then I do this. Right? Yeah, this is what we do. This feels good. This feels good. So blocks remove so we lose binary, but now we have all the yeah, now we have all the extra damage on rain of blows from the offense, not from the uh binary status. Oh, but hold on. I have to do this first. And I hope that with the heroism reduction, we still have enough. 73? Nice. Okay, sick. That was neat. I like that mission card. I feel like she could have that. <laughs> Supernova, damage each enemy in an area. Ba-boom. Okay, two tries. That feels nice. Midnight Sun suit for her. We'll throw that on right away. Very cool. And... I guess, so this is the way that I want to play Reign of Blows, right? Is to, to use it when she's actually not binary. That's what that kind of taught me. Is that, that's, that's when we use Reign of Blows. It's just a heroism spender. What's the upgrade here? Increased area of effect. And it's 113. That is exactly her offense. So that's based on that. But, yeah, it's just a big AoE damage thing. So when she's binary, and it doesn't exhaust either. Um, which is actually quite nice. Huh. I'm going to swap this in here. And let's do our last challenge. Wolverine. I feel like this might be a bit more complex because of his chains and stuff. We have to figure out who we need to chain. Defeat the Whispers of Memory. Infinite card plays. Redraw move disabled. Fine. Yeah, okay, wow. So I feel like this is maybe something to keep in mind. Force all enemies taunted to immediately attack, right? Because we're going to do this and get them to taunt. 
But we're also going to want to be strengthened ASAP. And then some things are going to need to be vulnerable. Let's just start on one side here. I can only taunt two. Because they're grouped. So I'm strengthened now. I'm going to apply a vulnerable to the full health one. If this backfires next time, we can apply it to the, the weakened unit. I need 24 damage. I mean, whoa. Can my chains reach across? No, they can't. All right. One, two. Oops! Damn it! I did. I want. I didn't mean to do that. I just wanted to check it, but that was unfortunate. So I need a full thing there. This feels really bad. Okay, so let's say I was doing this. Right, that's going to taunt them. Eviscerate's also going to taunt. If I get a vulnerable going here... I do this to finish off that guy, but we've definitely messed something up. This is going to taunt him, and we will KO this guy on the next card. <laughs> but, like, I don't think we're KOing anything else. So we're hitting for 16. Okay, so we're KOing two. Whoa, this is gonna be tricky, like I predicted. Okay. So then I, I think the better plan is get everybody taunted and finish them all during that let's do this card. Uh, still lethal pounce seems like the way to go. To get the strengthened. Maybe that's a trap too, I don't know. It's possible. If I apply vulnerable to these two dudes, that should be enough to KO with the, yeah, because it'll be 16 plus half, so exactly 24. And then I use stink of fear on these guys. So they're taunted. And then I have to chain and use Eviscerate correctly on these two now. So I've got 15 damage here, and I have 32 damage here. Let's say I went 16, 24. That takes him down to 16, which is enough on his strength and KO. And then I go here. And then I dump the chain into the other guy.
right? These guys get KO'd because of the vulnerable. He gets KO'd based on normal damage. And then... This takes him down to... Uh, 17... 12, and I guess I could just do an extra one here. And we have the taunts everywhere. As long as my math is right with the vulnerable and the strengthened, we should be okay. Yeah, sick. Okay, we're good. Very nice. Now, this card's a freaking beast. It's not even going to look as cool here. But you consume all heroism to damage random enemies ten times. One for each heroism. But the damage increases by four with each attack. But this is in a in a arena, so we're not getting his full um, increase there. This puts out tons of damage. Yeah. Yeah. And then he starts, like, he, if there's a bunch of enemies, he'll swing around to all of them. And you have no control, but it's, like, it's so many attacks if you spend all the heroism. It's really, really nice. So I, I think that's probably one of the better heroics. And then, of course, if he's, if he's strengthened and his offense is increased, right? Guys, we did it. I can't believe that. We did it. Uh, what do I put in here, though? So, it's funny. Where is it? Oh, yeah, Berserk. We're almost never playing this Berserk card. Uh, but I do feel like because this one's so good, I should make an extra copy of it. And I should have two Berserks in the deck. Because A, they generate heroism. And B, we want to spend that heroism on the Midnight Special. Uh, I think Piercing Slash has to be the one to go. Yes, it applies to the Vulnerable, but it's just... It's way better if they have Block and then it costs us Heroism. Oh, and then this you gain Heroism back for KOs, too. Yeah, that's super sick. So it starts at 65, which is probably half. Yeah, very nice. I think that's a worthy upgrade. So how many Legendary... How many Legendary... Uh, blueprints do I have? I have four. So let's take a close look here again. Already upgraded. Already upgraded. Shield charge. And, and I don't know how the final mission works either. So like I don't know if we have to use a bunch of our guys or if we still have to pick. Draw a card for each target. So shield charge is a potential. I think supernova is a good one because it doesn't exhaust. Um... I just, if I have a choice, I'm not bringing her. So there's two potential. I don't think I'm going to upgrade Strange's Seven Sons of the Cinnabus. Four, six, and eight instead of five, seven, and nine. Like, I don't, I don't think that's that good. So, so far, Captain America and Captain Marvel. Uh, his is upgraded. World Breaker. I think World Breaker looks great. So, both the Captains and Hulk. Hellfire Beam. Redraws for KOs. Yeah, pretty good. That could be the fourth. Uh, hers is upgraded. That's insane. Crack the Sky is upgraded. Uh, no more. Draws cards for each KO. Yeah, again, it's like, I kind of feel like you do this as a finisher, but I don't know. It still feels like it's not even that good. Consume all health to damage each enemy near her. 640 health. That KOs like some hounds and stuff. Some late... You know, people are whittled down, I guess. But then if I have 
five. Eh, it's five heroism. That's true. It's not like you have to spend all of it. Drawing card for each KO, though. I just don't know if that's a necessary upgrade. Infernal Spider, that's a really good upgrade. And I think Midnight Special would be a good upgrade. So, if we're really wanting to eke out the best possible options here, I think at least two more Legendary Heroics in hand would be pretty nice. And we could kind of experiment with more heroes, specifically Hulk, because I still want to get one of his cards. And we have at least a day where we need to put Combat Therapy on Wolverine. Sounds relaxing. So let's send him in there. Sparring-wise, chance to resist negative statuses. And friendship XP. I mean, we could give it to Hulk just for the resist stuff. Who am I most likely taking? If, like, if I had a choice, probably Ghost Rider, Strange, Magic, Wanda, Nico. Like, all of these are great options. <laughs> like playing with fire. Okay. Um, the other thing now is that I don't need to more? take the Hunter if I'm not doing other stuff. We've got plenty of tricks for old dogs. No excuses here. Uh, does she still have a Banish in her deck? She doesn't, actually. But that that is really good. We have tons of heroic essences. Um, okay. So let's look. Do we have any legendary blueprints? Yes. Scarlet Witch. We could also use this to get our last two guys up to top level, which would be great. Uh, we could reroll one. Let's reroll magics. Str oh, okay. This could be kind of fun because we haven't taken out Strange for a long time and it's a blueprint one as well. Use environmentals to KO for credits. You know, credits, not too shabby here. Yeah, so that's actually even better. Strange has to do it, though. Two enemies in one turn. It's doable. So, here's what I'm thinking. We take somebody like Strange. Generates a ton of heroism, right? We take somebody like uh, Hulk... And we take either... Actually, Blade works really well, too, because of the chains and Blessing of Vishanti stuff. But um, we take either Blade or Nico. I feel like, yes, Nico heals, but we have a we do have a built-in heal on uh, Hulk if we want to take it. And we should. It's a good card. Where I was talking to somebody in the Discord the other day about this, and they were saying that this is basically a card you should play every single opportunity because it over healing increases maximum uh, health, which is true, okay, don't get me wrong, but then you're in a situation where you have no rage, right? And you can only play it once. So, yeah, the, the, other, the other argument was that it combos well with the hunter uh, uh, passive here, but that only impacts hunter abilities, so you can't keep spamming it. Um, but it is good. Don't get me wrong. Like, it, it is good. We may need to heal. And it does generate heroism. I feel like Challenging Roar is pretty decent. I really like Rampage. Seismic Slam kind of achieves a similar thing to the Challenging Roar, but it'll spend Rage, so maybe, maybe not. Maybe I ditch Seismic Slam for Always Angry here. We still need to find one Hulk card, and it will be a... Are we missing a common Hulk card? Let me just check one second here. 
Yeah, so we're missing a card called Gamma Kick. And I would like to have that so that I can then craft like all these final decks in whatever way that I want. Um, so we'll definitely show the next mission. And if there's anything I want to kind of farm after that, then I'll um, maybe do that off camera. But I know some of you guys are fine just watching me do this last little bit as well. Utility belt and... Where's our big battlefield scanner? Mark II. I guess I don't have an extra one. Let's we'll take this. I'm going to try not to use these now as we go into the final mission anyway, but... Um, I think there's some good synergies here. So, I'll make up the decks, but I think they're pretty good as they are. Uh, we have heals on, on the Vapors also. I don't know if I need the Binds, but having the Vulnerable there is pretty decent. Um, I probably need to throw some Quick Cards in for uh, Blade if we don't have any. We've got one. Got the one Make Them Bleed on the with the Conceal Redraw. As well, which is kind of cool. Yeah, I might just leave this. We have the two strikes in there. Uh, what I'll do is I'll go and I'll craft a Reaper. And mod and upgrade it. And then I'll wrap up the episode there. So if you don't want to continue, that's totally okay. How can we help you, Hunter? This forge fire is something special. The oh. only concern is uh, credits being able to mod some of our big heroics. And I'm not going to like re-roll mods on them a bunch. It's just I'd like to have a mod on every card as we go into the Ready final mission. I think that makes a lot of sense. On KO gain strengthen. That's all right. We can Back and let's again. see what we roll here. Redraw for heroism. Increase damage if the target's full health. I guess redraw for heroism. That's always really nice, because if it doesn't if it's not applicable, it's like you get a guaranteed benefit. I like to stay on the cutting edge. So we'll stick it like that. Okay, this will be fun. Uh let's wrap it up here, and then when we come back, we're gonna do at least that mission. We'll reassess. We'll have hopefully no injuries. And then we're going to go into endgame. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate you watching. And uh, we'll see you soon. Bye.